Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this particular interior over here. Let's continue it. So very first of all, what I'll do over here is like, I'll just go into this editable poly and I'll slightly just shuffle it a bit up over here. I'll again select this part. I'll push this up. Alright. After that, few things over here. First, we'll create a cloth over here. So, how we can create a cloth for that? Let's take a plane over here. So, I'll just go to the top view over here and I'll take a cloth over here slightly just push this up, rotate it a bit in this way. So go into this and increase the length segments and width segments over here so go into animation mass effects cloth create m cloth select this and this animation mass effects rigid body set as static rigid body again select this over here and i'll go down into this, I'll keep it as shape type as original. Again, select this, I'll keep this as original over here. So, go into animation, mass effects, simulation, and play simulation. So, I can just use this play simulation over here. I'll slightly shuffle this, I'll slightly scale this in this way. If you want to make it more uneven, what I can do over here is like, I can go into this freeform option and I have a shift option over here. I can use this shift option and I can make it more uneven. So wherever, from wherever you want to make it, look uneven you can use this <coughs> property over here you can change it more if you want also you have a property called noise so you can even use a bit of noise if required to make it look more uneven let's give a modifier over here a shell modifier so assign a shell modifier and reduce its thickness of it and convert to editable poly so save your file once again now I'll just go over here I'll take a chamfer box over here so let's take a chamfer box reduce the fillet over here and give one height segment so I can add some width and height segments over here and I can add one turbo smooth over here so let's add a turbo smooth I'll slightly just push this up and after that I'll convert to editable poly, go into animation, mass effects, cloth, create M cloth, select this, animation, mass effects, rigid body, set as static rigid body, again go down and keep it as original. Let's again go into animation, mass effects simulation 
and again play the simulation over here. Once you play the simulation into the properties, you can just go over here and you have a property called enable balloon behavior. You can activate this property if required. If you want to go with this, you can use it. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. That's totally okay. The other way I can use over here is like I have FFD box modifier over here. I can just go over here. I can set the properties over here. So let's just select this go into the control points of this FFD box select this control points and slightly just push this up push this up over here again I can go into this isolate selection I can select and slightly I'll scale this select this and slightly scale that scale this scale this property over here so again I'll go convert to editable poly after that I'll use a bit of shift over here give again a uh, turbo smooth over here convert to poly let's go to freeform and you can use a bit of relax so don't make it look more sharper you can just use this relax option for this so end isolate this and I can just place it over here for the pillow. So let's just duplicate that. So now after that we also have one more cloth property over here that you can easily assign it but if you see uh, if you want to show that it has been tucked inside over here so I won't give a cloth property over here for this I'll just go over here I'll take a line tool over here I'll just take a line tool I'll drag it till here after that definitely we are going to smoothen this later on so selecting this go into this enable in viewport make it rectangular reduce its length and width so select the vertices and go over here and set it as fillet over here so definitely we'll be adding the segments over here surely i'll slightly just push this till here save the file and convert to editable poly so select all all these edges over here let's give some connects over here select this edges give some connect So I'll just select this ring it and give one connect 
and give a turbo smooth modifier over here so let's again go into this free form and you have a property of noise I can use this noise so reduce the strength of this noise over here and I can slightly work with this noise property so noise is going to make it uh, look uneven over here again I'll take a bit of shift if required I'll just and isolate this all right so let's keep a book over here so for that let's again take a box over here convert to editable poly before that reduce its height select the edges and let's give a bit of chamfer so select this polygons over here and let's give a bit of inset over here slightly and give a bit of extrude by local normal alright alright slightly just shuffle this over here duplicate it again make one more copy of that it's totally ok you can if you want you can slightly just reduce the size of the book not a problem all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so definitely will be continuing few more things the coming tutorial so please like and subscribe my youtube channel if you're not subscribed yet please do subscribe so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial